I am Lillian Burkhart, founder and president of Burkhart Flutes and Piccolos. Our instruments are made of silvers, gold, and platinum. Piccolos, grenadilla wood fitted with sterling silver keys. It is the handwork of many and devotion to quality that distinguishes these instruments in beauty and in sound. Follow me into the workshop to see how Burkhart flutes are made. All of our material starts out as grain or bullion. The metal is melted and then rolled into flat stock, extruded into tubing, or drawn into solid rod. This sterling silver rod is for making flute and piccolo posts. The rod is loaded into one of our CNC lathes where the profile of the post is turned. Often, up to 50% of the material is removed to make the part. Our technician checks each part for precise dimensions, so one part fits perfectly into the next. Three very small holes are drilled in the post. Using the optical comparator, I magnify an image of the post for inspection. This attention to detail assures we produce an instrument that is reliable in any performance setting. 3D technology allows us to see the internal depths of our piccolo tone holes and predict interferences when keys are modified. We are designing and implementing improvements for the player that were never possible in the history of flute making. Flat silver stock is fed through a die to punch and form the radius of a left hand flute rib. This tube will become the center joint of a flute, sterling silver, and one of our important checks for quality is straightness and concentricity. Our piccolos are made of African grenadilla wood. The tree is felled in Tanzania using sustainable practices. There it is cut to length, squared, and immediately waxed on both ends. The crate of wood is then stored with our importer for five years. We now bore a hole, turn the outside round, and allow the wood to breathe inside and out. The wood is aged in this state for several more years before continuing. Pockets and shoulders are bored to accommodate the sterling silver fittings, which will connect the body and head joint. The body is profiled and tone holes are added. The making of so many small parts generates a lot of scrap. That material is carefully collected and returned to our recycler for reclamation. The parts are counted, weighed, and stored for further use. The next step is making the body, 